notes and sends it back. Understanding the complexities involved in OSPF is the difficult part. Configuring it is fairly straightforward. The process is the same as with other protocols. First, we enable the routing protocol. This is done with the command router OSPF process ID. The process ID can be any number you prefer between 1 and 65535. Note that this is not the same as the autonomous system number found in IGRP and EIGRP. Here, the process ID is local to the router and does not need to match the other routers. The next step is to activate OSPF on your interfaces and advertise your networks. This is done with a network command as before, but the syntax is a little different. Here, the syntax is network, network address wildcard mask, area, area ID. Note that you specify a wildcard mask in the configuration. Here, wildcard masks are used to match the IP address that is being used on an interface. Take a look at this figure where we come across our three friends again, Mo, Larry, and Curly. The wildcard mask used in these statements is matching the IP address on the interface. Here, we are matching the entire network of which the IP address is a part. For example, on Curly's router, the command network 192.168.40.0.0.0.255 area 1 tells the router to match all addresses that begin with 192.168.40. The last octet, which has 255 in the wildcard mask, is ignored. The router examines the IP addresses of its directly connected interfaces and activates OSPF on those interfaces that match the statement. Because you are using wildcard masks to match the IP address on your directly connected interfaces, you could also use the wildcard mask of 0.0.0.0 to match the exact address. Just as with IP access lists, a wildcard mask of 0.0.0.0 would match a specific address. For example, if Curly had the IP address of 192.168.40.1 on one interface and 192.168.50.1 on another interface, you could configure Curly's router using a wildcard mask of 0.0.0.0. Using a wildcard mask that matches the IP address of the interface is equivalent to using a wildcard mask that matches the network where the IP address resides. For the exam, focus on matching the entire network. 0.0.0.255 wildcard mask in the previous example. The reasons behind which one you should choose are outside the scope of this exam.